Sup, everybody? Carver Mosel, would you welcome? Time to do our first eBay break. 2017-18 Donors Basketball, five box break number 30. Yes, sir. Now, usually we got a little two camera set up. Mm, today, not the case. So, this is what we're going to do. By himself, he could beat the Dolphins. I mean, I, I'll tell you what, though, Bodine. That's not saying much. I mean, if you put everybody that's on breakers right now, Bodine, J. New, Bapa, and Murdoch, you guys could probably put a team together that could beat the Dolphins. So, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. My man found a Harry Owens auto redemption in a box, and it expires tomorrow. Oh, it'll be... Oh, you got to redeem the time, though? That's what matters. Patriots will be back, says Nicholas Hagar. Back to what? Back to being fucking... Bitches? I don't know. There might be trouble in paradise. From what I hear, uh, Tom Brady and Gronk are planning a coup d'etat. Oh, Henry Owens. I was like, Harry Owens? Hmm, I think you meant Henry Owens. Exactly, yeah. You look at Donner's basketball. Oh, it's, oh, it's, it's a lovely, lovely product. Oh, it's, look look how nice Donner's is. Oh, oh, there's, you know, nothing. Oh, it's a little heavy. Oh, it must be fat packs. Hmm. God damn. You open that shit up and... You need a fucking infinity stone to break this shit. God damn. It's fucking 10 cards per pack, 24 packs per box. That's 240 cards in a box. And more than 80% of them are fucking basically worthless. Am I a queen? No, Bodine, I'm a princess. Bodine, your shit talking has gotten really bad. Maybe you might need to pick up a drug habit or something so you can get funny again because you have been terrible. Okay, he says. <laughs> All right. So, oh, Bodine, he's uh, a character over on Breakers. Breaker exclusive. That's right. That's right. So, after Donruss uh, Basketball, which you're watching right now, number 30, uh, eBay break, is Diamond Kings, number 16. After that, Elite Extra Edition, number 40. After that, Optic Basketball, number 4. After that, Score Football, number 1. And then after that, Unparalleled Football, number 7. Do what you got to do, Nicholas. I don't know why you would go there, but okay. I'm just going to open up all these packs. Try to go a little quicker here. And catch up and not have to have y'all losing sleep. I know you guys have to go to work tomorrow. Make that money so you can spend that money here. Because you don't need to eat. You don't need to pay bills. Fuck that. Fuck that. Spend your money on cardboard.
cute little cute little rabbit my boy uh Abraham Abe What's the point, Nicholas? <laughs> you're just wasting, you're just wasting, you know, memory right now. Like, why, why overload your computer doing that? Ooh, that pack was a little fat. Exactly, Nicholas. That's why I was like, why are you there? That don't make no sense. Two card arsenal. Fear the beard. Oh, Tomasa poet and he didn't even know it. I don't know two card arsenal. Fear the second round because that's when Chris Paul tends to, uh, you know, falter. Not at all, Thomas. I wish I could too. Uh, no, this is Donruss. Two card arsenal. Optic basketball is uh, later on tonight. It is on the menu though. It is on the eBay menu. Man, I really thought LeBron was gonna get eliminated in the first round, but I should have—I should have known the NBA was not gonna allow that. The ghost of David Stern would not have allowed that. Tomas, man, I'm trying to get back in it, dog. I'm trying to get back in it. Nicholas, to be quite honest with you, just, you know, the, the best way I could say it is you can't teach an old dog new tricks, Nicholas. You, you understand what I'm saying? And I hope you do. Because I'm trying to be slick about it, you know what I'm saying? So, I hope you caught that. And you know what? Believe it or not, man, but some people just want to watch. Really. Some people just want to watch. I can't tell you how many times I'll notice somebody's in the room and I'll, hey, I'll be like, hey, what's up? You know, because that's just how I am. And as soon as I say that, they leave. And then I'll have, you know, I'll have instances where the exact same person comes on. And then I don't, I don't even acknowledge them. And they stay and watch the entire time. I don't understand. Different strokes for different folks. What can I say? Nah, Murdoch, you're my guy, bro. You come and hang out from time to time. You know what I mean? I say what's up to you. You say what's up to me. Uh, Nicholas is a dude on YouTube, Bodine. Since you, since you want to know. 
Oh no, two card arsenal definitely. You're you're you know the, those of you that are watching right now, you guys are the shit. You know. But you know, without saying any names, and I can say a few names, there are people that legit. I, I acknowledge them on breakers and I say, hey, what's up? Don't hear shit from them, and they just leave. Nicholas Hagar, you've been com Ooh, I probably should have said the whole name. But you've been compromised, sir! I've opened three boxes worth of, uh, uh, of stuff so far. This product would be so much better if they cut the base set in half. It would be so much better. I think I'm the I think I'm the, I'm the only breaker stupid enough. I mean the only breaker. Um, willing to break this. <laughs> Nicholas, relax. All right, relax. You know, Nicholas, I don't know why I never asked you this, but are you related to Sammy Hagar? I know, I think his last name was with two G's. But close enough. Close enough to ask. Are y'all related? Murdoch, you, you have no idea, bro. The Otani mania is sweeping the nation. Dude, Bowman cases are at like three, four Gs or something like that. It's, it's crazy. Gotta ride the roller coaster. Got to. All right, and finally the last box of things to open here. Each stack is a box, so one, two, three, four. And we're looking at one auto and a relic per box, I think, in this product. Curious, do I have anything popping in the stealth? Probably not, but paste the check. You got a Bowman Jumbo for 265. Is that good? Uh, hmm, that's a good question, actually. What are they going for right now? You probably play, you probably played uh, paid retail. Uh, let me see. Was it jumbo or or what? Oh, you, you got a Bowman jumbo. Dude, Bowman Jumbo right now is at like $380 a box, bro. Uh, yes, Nicholas, the mic is a Yeti. You got a, you got a good deal on it, man. A box of Bowman Jumbo is like $380. So you saved about 100 bucks. Your card shop looked out for you, my man.
that's probably why he sold it so cheap. Because it was his last one. And he just wanted to get rid of it. Well, Nicholas, why are you apologizing to me? I'm the one that's got to do it. Uh, base Otani cards are going anywhere from like, uh, like 10, 20 bucks, man. Finally, the pack opening uh, portion of this break is done. Now let's do the ding thing, shall we? And as always, good luck, everybody. Good luck, everybody. Twice is the charm, I guess. Okay. This stuff is extremely hard to hit. One auto per box. And a fuck ton of base cards, as you are about to witness. We need to trade Hassan Whiteside or, or something. About to sue. Can we sue that guy? Because he did jack shit for us in the playoffs. But this man, he did what he could. Dwayne Wade, the 99 for the Bulls. Nice to see him back in the Heat uniform. This is like a, fro a four product. Everything's backwards, cards upside down. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Nice rookie right there. 299, Jarrett Allen. Patch auto for the Nets. Solid, solid, solid. Murdoch, you should have played the lotto right after that, man. Luke Walton was in that same draft class? Really? That's ridiculous. I don't know why, but I thought Luke Walton was like older than he really is. Than he really is or whatever. That dude's a coach now, but LeBron and D-Wade are still playing in the league. I wonder if he reflects on that at the end of the night. Like, man, I was a garbage ass player, and I'm I'm a mediocre coach. What am I doing with my life? Well, at least my daddy was nice. Jay Rue with the patch there for the Pelicans. Pelicans got spanked last night, or whatever yesterday. I thought they were at least gonna be competitive. Nikola Vucevic, the 299 Magic. Reflecting on the Lakers bench, I'm getting brown next year. <laughs> His daddy is pretty nuts, Bill Walton, but that dude, that dude was nice when he used to play. I've seen film of his, man. That must be hard, though. Growing up in the shadow of, like, your father or whatever, you know what I mean? Especially if he's, like, a professional basketball or professional anything. And then it's kind of like, well, what are you going to do? Like Jeffrey Jordan, that boy trying to live up to Michael Jordan's standards. Impossible. 299, Jeff Teague, Timberwolves. Timberwolves with the gentleman sweep. Yeah, he played with the Clippers back in San Diego. 
Uh, he also played with the uh, mostly known for his time with the Blazers. Played for the Celtics too. The Mari Carroll, the 199 Nets. And he's fun to play with in video games, actually. Don't come to the rim, because I'll block that shit. And he had the little, like, he had the, like, little red fro, too. Man, my, my bulls just swagged up, swagged up. And his, con dude, his commentary is cringeworthy, but kind of hilarious. Oh, Donra's basketball. How much I love you. Torian Prince, the 189 Hawks. Took our arsenal. You preaching to the choir, bro. There's a reason why it's not on the store. Throw it down, big man. Could you imagine hearing commentary from Hubie Brown and <laughs> Bill Walton? <laughs> I'll fucking yo those commentators. Like there's a there's three in in, in particular for me that are that I find slightly annoying: Doris Burke, Bill Walton, and uh, I just said his name. Now I can't think of it. Derek White to 299 for the Spurs. Oh, yeah, Hubie Brown. Hubie Brown knows his shit about basketball, though. And I'll admit, Doris Burke also extremely knowledgeable on basketball. But as far as commentators are concerned, like, I don't know. I just don't. They don't, they don't do it for me. Hubie, dude, Hubie's forgotten more about basketball than I'll ever know. But they're just they're just annoying, is all. That's that's all I'm saying. Bill Walton talks that shit though. Like, I just I just find him amusing. The auto for the Grizzlies, Wade Baldwin the fourth. Mark Jackson is dope. And I like that they always pair Mark Mark Jackson with his old coach, uh, Van Gundy. You loathe Van Gundy? Damn. Van, I, th I like Van Gundy. I like Van Gundy. He's like the color, the, the color. He's the color commentator. Zach Levina, 49, Bulls. Oh, my God. Chris Collinsworth. Different sport, but yeah, that's another guy who just you hear talk and it's just like, bro, I can I barely believe you played in the league. Like, what the what the fuck? Shut up, Rade Zagorak. That's the case hit right there, baby. Look no further for the Grizzlies to one eighty nine. We'll get that right out to you next day shipping. Pacers, Pacers, Pacers are going to be good, man. They're, they're going to learn from this, and they're going to get better. Oladipo is only going to get better as a player, man. That guy's a beast. All right, Nicholas, have a good one, man. I'm glad Donruss was able to put you to sleep. Phil Sims, Phil Sims is another guy. Phil Sims is really not a great commentator. 
But there's worse. That's not bad. For the Blazers, and not sure uh, how much longer he's going to be a Blazer. 7 out of 10, CJ McCullough with a three color patch. Blazers definitely need to break that up. Joe Buck! Joe Buck is pretty crap, too. Not a fan of Joe Buck. I think the best basketball commentators are going to have to be. Uh, I can't think of their names. But I like Mark Jackson. I like. Um, I forget his name, but he's like he's one of the main basketball voices. Uh, Tony Romo's a really good commentator, actually, uh, uh, in the NFL. Like that dude knows his shit, and he's and he's entertaining too. Mar not Marv Albert. Marv Albert is not a bad commentator, but um, you know. I, I'm kind of I kind of need to say that because I'm afraid he's gonna touch me, in my no nos. Um, oh, Murdoch, come on now, that's different. So soccer commentators are the greatest of all time. But you know we're here in America. We we don't we don't we don't like that there that there soccer. Marv Albert is great, especially with that call and the foul. Uh, the Knicks have pretty good commentators. Uh, I forget that one dude's name. Not Bernard King, the other dude. Forget his name. But I can't think of this commentator's name. He does basketball, though. Number to 10, Jalen Brown for the Celtics. That's nice. Celtics moving on to the next round. Marv, Marv's brother's the diddler. I don't know, man. I don't want to take my, I don't want to take any chances. Kevin Harlan. There we go. Thank you, Brian. Yes. Kevin Harlan to me is probably the, the coolest announcer in, in the NBA. He knows his basketball, and he's kind of entertaining, too. He does have that velvety, smooth voice, man, for sure. To 189, Julius Randle, Lakers. Kevin Harlan is my favorite basketball voice. I have a favorite in the NFL too. It might be Tony Romo because that dude, like, he just he knows his he knows his football, and he predicts stuff like right before a play happens, he'd be like, "Oh, this is a run." Sure enough, it's a run. He'd be like, "Oh, this is a play action pass. Watch out for so and so." Sure enough, it goes to so and so. And you're just like, "Damn, Tony Romo!" Like, there's a video. Mike Tirico is actually pretty good too. They, they they put I think they put Harlan and Tariko at the same time. You know who reminds me of Mike Tariko? Ra Ra. <laughs> Mike Tariko is Ra Ra, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, for the Bucks, Jason Terry, the autograph. This guy's still playing basketball, man. Yeah. John Motson and Martin Ty Martin Tyler, of course. When you whenever if you're watching a Premier League game, Martin Tyler, more often than not, is commentating, and that guy knows his shit. Miola. Steph Curry to two ninety nine for the Warriors. I gave you an idea, Tomas. Really, but hopefully it's a good one.
Man, I'm ready for some football. I don't know about y'all boys or girls. I'm ready for some college football. So 189, Evan Turner, Blazers. Dude, please do it, Tomas. Please do it. And then send him a picture. I promise you he'll change he'll change his little avatar to that. Instead of having the dude face palming, we'll have uh Rara Eco. Mike Tarico. Bro, I swear. They're they're like two peas in a pod. Where the hell's where is Ra Ra anyway? Ra Ra's probably sitting on his hand right now, that's why he's not chatting. He's like, God, I, I wanna say something, but they're not numb yet. So you gotta stay sitting on his hands. This guy. What's the the greatest announcer of all time? Though has to be that dude that does uh that does basketball. What's his name, man? I think his name is Dick Vital. There was a list somewhere where all the sportscasters that did some Oh dude, I think sports I think all those people that's 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 I think the those are like the worst, you know. They're just going around diddling people. But Dickie V is an angel. Dickie V is a national treasure. And my man Dick Vital deserves to be like put up there with like the greatest things ever made. You know, the Leaning Tower over in Italy, the Eiffel Tower, you know what I'm saying? L Lady Liberty, Dick Vital. Vital, without a doubt, is the best announcer in all sports. Knows his shit, charisma out the wazoo, and god damn it, his name is Dick, for God's sakes. Last name, Vital. And he's hella humble, that too, hella humble. Gus Johnson, what, where, why does that sound familiar to me? Gus Johnson, Gus Johnson. Where have I heard that name before? Without having to Google it. Gus Johnson, the Supersonic? Is he an announcer too? For the Supersonics or something? Trevor Booker to 299 for the Nets. Speaking of announcers, I know every team has their own personal announcers. Like the Lakers got their announcers. The Knicks. The Knicks announcers are actually pretty good. Uh, I like the Knicks announcers. Uh, but in my opinion, the worst team announcers that I have seen or have heard, I should say, and it's not even close. The Cleveland Cavaliers have the worst announcers. They don't know shit about basketball. And they don't know shit about anything, period. And, I, I mean, I understand that's your home team. But, like, they think every call should go the, the Cavaliers' way. Like, God, man, terrible, terrible announcers. I like the Heat announcers. The Heat announcers are, are fair. They call the game both ways, and they know their basketball. And, of course, it's it's a homer pick. So, uh, Ersani Yosova to 299 for the Hawks.
Joe Johnson to 199 Jazz. For the Spurs, Marco Bellinelli with a patch. Oh, dude, LeBron balled out today, but that's usually what he does in Game 7. Bodine, I, well, I wish I could give an opinion, but I've never really heard any any Dallas commentary, really. Uh, but yeah, LeBron barely got by the Pacers. I don't think he's getting out of the second round. Who's LeBron playing? The Raptors? Zach Collins with the on-card rookie auto for the Blazers. That's nice. Raptors and, and Cavs, right? Oh yeah, it's. I don't know. I got. I, I gotta say, I don't know because the Raptors are the Raptors. You know what I mean? The Raptors are the Raptors. So with that being said, I I would not be surprised at all if LeBron averaged 50 points a game and actually, you know, advanced. Martin Tyler doing basketball or football would be pretty hilarious. Donovan Mitchell! With the patch for the Jazz. That's why, that's why I love watching uh, like soccer games because their commentary is on point. Uh, not only that, but when they score a goal, oh my god! It's like it's like the first time you saw your, your first your first baby, you know. It's like the pearly gates opened up. Goal! Raptors are definitely fake news, with a capital F. Just cap locks, all cap locks. Uh, underline, bold, italics, all that. Fake news. Not fake news. One in ten. Jordan Bell for the Warriors. That's nice. I was really expecting the Pelicans to give the Warriors a little bit more, you know, of a run for their money. Harrison Barnes to 189 for the Mavericks. All right, so enough about commentators. Let's talk about what about Sports Center commentators or newscasters or whatever you call those people. You know, I got I got a, quite a few parrots. You know, of course. Uh, all right, Peter, my boy Stuart Scott. Well, he was probably my favorite when he was in the game. Um, but currently, Scott Van Pelt is pretty goddamn entertaining. That's my, that's my guy right there. SVP. And, you know, when you have a show all to yourself, you know, you got to be pretty big time. Uh, Kenny Main, also pretty hilarious. Kenny Main's pretty awesome. Oh, you got me there, Tomas. You got me there. Cassidy Hubbard. Oh, my God. And they, they added this new chick that used to work for Fox. And now she's like a commentator and stuff. Oh my god, she's so hot. I forget her name, but she's like, I think she's from Boston or something. Etwan Moore with the autograph for the Pelicans. I don't think I don't think the I don't think the Raptors are gonna advance to be I mean, I don't know, man. That's a tough one. Cause I don't trust the Raptors, but I don't trust the Cavs either. But at least the Cavs have LeBron. All right, two-card Arsenal, have a good night. Yeah, for sure. If you ever want to fall asleep, watch a Donner's break. I guarantee you, you won't make it past box two.
So I've been trying to entertain you guys here with a little talk. SVP is that guy, man. And I like that little segment that he always has where it's like, you know, kind of like Carmen San Diego. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Where in the world is Scott Van Pelt? And people just send pictures to him of like, is this you, SVP? Is this some just some bald white dude doing random things? TJ Warren to 199 for the Suns. I can't wait till they put Poppy on Sports Center though. They should give Poppy and it, you know, and his and his kid uh, a spot on Sports Center. Uh, that would be the greatest. Hey, this is Poppy. Welcome to Sports Center. To two ninety nine, Brooke Lopez, Lakers. That that show, highly questionable, is pretty pretty awesome. I kind of miss uh, Skip Bayless and and and, and, uh, and what's his name Stephen A. Smith going at it. Why did they? What what happened there? What happened there? David Ortiz is to baseball as Shaq is to basketball in terms of commentating. Dude, Shaq is hella entertaining in on Inside the NBA. That dude is hella entertaining. Shaq is one of those dudes that like you could put him in any position and he's just gonna he's just gonna succeed. Plus he's Shaq. What are you gonna tell a seven foot two dude? Oh yeah, Shaq, you're the best. You got damn right I'm the best. Shaq Diesel. And that was the break, y'all. Thank God. Recap time. We have each one more Pelicans. Dude, and him, him, dude, and Shaq is a bully, bro. Like, Shaq is always picking on Barkley. Like, I'm waiting for the day Barkley's like, you know what? I've had enough of this fool. And they start moving furniture. And Barkley, like, choke slams Shaq through the table. That'd be awesome. Anyway, Zach Collins, Blazers. Jason Terry, Bucks. Wade Baldwin, the fourth. Grizzlies. And Jared Allen of the Nets. And that was the break, you guys. 2017 18 Donners basketball, five box break number 30 eBay style. Thank you very much. We're going to